I really hope that somebody good and loving can take care of her because it is so hot in here right now and she is in heat and she is miserable and it's cramped and Lola Lola is tearing her up so bad. Yeah. You know, I mean, both these poor babies. And she wanted to get out of here earlier before she fell asleep, and I couldn't let her out. I even called Tia Maria from Pitbulls and Parolees. I think I mentioned that. I'm not sure. I'm mentioning it, it again because if I didn't before, look at my baby. Beautiful little baby, and she's getting all tore up. And I don't have any medicine for her. And look at that. I can't afford to take her to the vet. She keeps scratching because Lola keeps attacking her. Her ears and her neck. That's what she really goes after is her ears and neck. So I, I don't have, I don't know what to do. I mean, she's got to get to the vet. And plus Lola did this to her. I have showed you before. Where is it? She was born without a claw. Because she was inbred. Her father is her brother. Yeah, there's, there's a nail hasn't grown back. Lola tore her whole nail off. Look at that. She's just getting tore up so bad. And she she, she doesn't deserve this. I mean, every day I clean her ears out. Look at, look at that. And she keeps scratching, and then they get dirty, and then they, then they get infected. Poor baby. Look at, she keeps scratching here because Lola got her really good there. Look at I, I don't know what to do. I hope somebody can help her. Because she needs to get the hell out of here for her safety and her sanity. Just like Lola. Alright. Well. Everybody have a good night. I'm beside myself. <laughs>